Hey Blender friends, how's it going? Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. My name is Ryan and this is A Man With The Plans and we are back after a bit of a hiatus here to do a budget for the month of January for 2023. I am in my uh, EC budget book. It's the Every Little Bit Counts. Uh, there's, there's this fun cover and then they also have this fun purple guy as well. Um, I'll leave that linked down below if you wanted to go ahead and get yourself one. But today we are going to walk through kind of setting this up and then also going through the month of January for the budget and giving that a test. Um, I, if you've watched some of my videos before, you know that I kind of had my own setup. I have the playlist down below um, where I kind of used a monthly deluxe and kind of filled it in that way. Uh, they were nice enough to kind of share this with me. So I'm going to give this a shot moving into 2023. So I figured we would walk through it together and kind of talk through things as we go here. Um, and so let's go ahead and kind of just dive in. So the thing I love about this is there's a bit of like guided prompts to let you kind of think about what's going on, what you need to do, how to refocus and some of those things. Um, I will let you, I will be honest with you all, uh, the end of this year, 2022, I sort of let a lot of um, my focus kind of wane on my finances. I feel like when you're not focusing on something, all those little, all those little things, those little things that you pay for, subscriptions you don't cross off or whatever, they get you. And it's death by a thousand cuts. I mean, it's not that's looking for the new year. I really want to tighten up my budget and really get intentional. So you'll see that in kind of a lot of the goals that we'll go through today. And kind of as we set this up, there's lots of things that I want to talk about. So there's thing, there's all sorts of things in here that we'll cover like. You have to do some big picture check-ins around your finances. Um, we'll do some goal setting, and then I'll show you kind of how I'm going to set up the monthly tracker here to kind of track my progress and track my spending. The first thing you'll notice here is it says checking in, and the first question says how I currently feel about my finances. And so I've kind of given that a thought. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to zoom in a little. Here we go. How's that? So I think the first thing is how I'm currently feeling about my finances. And this kind of comes down to one sentence, and to me it's kind of like I've let things slip, um, I've let things slide and I want to make sure that I used to be super vigilant and um, focused on my budget and kind of fell by the wayside and so I wasn't making the best use of my money, right? I'm very grateful for all of what I have, but I wasn't actually taking it seriously to help me kind of implement what I needed to. So this one of the things here is really how I'm feeling currently is, yeah, so what I wrote here is I've let things slip. Uh, I've gotten lazy and lost my focus. I need to tighten things up and get more disciplined again. So if you've been here a minute, you know that I've paid off over $60,000 worth of student loan debt um, and all sorts of other interesting stuff to kind of move through and pay off those debts. And I've gotten a little bit lax as kind of, I've, I've, you know, I'm a victim of my own success, I guess. So that's one of the things that I'm feeling right now currently is that I know I can go back to the kind of the process and the habits that I was using, but I need to make sure I stick to them again. So how I want to feel about my finances. So this is an important one. So how I want to feel about my finances. My money is a well-oiled machine. It helps me save, grow, and maximize my income to allow me to do the things I love and prepare for the future. Right, I think that's like a nice aspirational goal here. It allows me to do the big things and also prepare for what could come next. I think that's super important. And so for me, the next piece here, this big box, is the main goal for this budget planner, which I love this question. It helps me focus in on kind of what I'm, why I'm doing this and why it's important. And I think if you know your why, you're going to know kind of, you're going to be more apt to kind of stick to this. And so for me, there's a couple of things. So my main goals for this budget planner are get more focused, transparent, and honest about where my money goes. Use that data to be more intentional to reduce my spending invest more and live the life I want. To me, I feel like these are two important things that I just really need to get kind of really clear on is I was not tracking things on a daily basis. You know, the money would come in, it would figure itself out in terms of rent and other things. And I wasn't really being mindful of what I was doing on a daily basis. And I got away from those consistent habits. So by being more focused, transparent, and honest about what I'm spending, I can use that information to really set myself up to one, cut out that spending I was talking about, Two, use the money that I have for more investment purposes, whether that's putting it into my IRA or those types of things or some stock or purchases or whatever it might be, right? Like being more intentional is just helpful to prepare myself for whatever I want to do in the future. And then last but not least is use that leftover savings that I didn't need to live the life I want because I deserve to live a good life, you know? We all do. So those are kind of the big goals. I think the next piece here is it says big picture goal one, two, and three. 
So the big picture goal for me, I'm gonna do some brainstorm on how I'd like to do that, but this is from cutting my spending, this is from kind of increasing my savings opportunities at work and all those types of things. I wanna make sure that I'm going ahead to do that. The second thing I wanna do, and this is kind of a bit different, the second thing I wanna do is I wanna identify and start two new streams of income in addition to my nine to five job. Uh, to me, one of the things that's most important and I've realized is having extra forms of income allows you to have more options and more flexibility. I'm not sure what that looks like, but there's so many opportunities online right now besides, you know, working an extra job or doing online assistance or whatever it might be. So I'm going to look into two additional streams of income in addition to my current job, which I am quite happy with for right now. The last thing, and this is going to be hard and I need to kind of really focus in on this, but I want to spend way less than what I make each month. So this one is one of those ones that's like pretty obvious, right? You want to make sure that you don't overexpend. You know, if, you, if your spending is this amount, if your income is this, you should not be spending this, right? You want to make sure it's less than that. But to me, I'd like to be much more intentional about like, do I need all these subscriptions? Do I need to watch Netflix and Hulu, right? And so getting clear on that and pulling that stuff back, I think it's just going to put me in a much better financial picture. So that is kind of a quick look at what my financial goals are and checking in. Now the nice part here is we're gonna shift into some important parts of the month, which I have will fill in kind of throughout the week. But so this page here, it just says bills, financial dates, and deadlines. So for me, it would be like rent due, and I believe that is January 5th. And then the thing I also like is at the bottom here, it has restock on and then larger purchases. So for me, you know, I'm looking at buying some new tires eventually. That would be something I'm saving for. I might want to wait a, w a bit. I actually have everything on auto payments. I don't even know when half of the stuff is due because it just comes out of my account. But I think this will be helpful for me to kind of check all the different things that I pay on a monthly basis and understand when they're coming in and coming out so I can kind of just have that in the back of my mind. Again, I kind of got a little lazy and lost sight in auto pay. It's a lovely feature, but it's also not helpful for me sometimes. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. On the other side, it says this month's financial goals. And then there's a nice list here. I think I might do a little vision board. I haven't decided what's gonna go here yet, but then you've got kind of a list of to-dos here, which is nice, and it's got a little checkbox, which is fun. It'd be fun if you wanted to maybe say like, say 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, and you can check them off as you go, totaling over uh, about 500 bucks or whatever. And then there's a nice little, uh, there's a nice little space here for something else. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this yet, but I'm going to kind of take a run at that later. So now we get to the budget itself. And so you can see here it says overview for, obviously this will say January. You've got the income piece, you've got housing, transportation, utilities, food, and there's kind of two blank ones down at the bottom. Then we have savings, health, entertainment. Um, and then there's two more blank ones and then debt payment plans, which I fortunately don't have any of that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and take a minute and start filling some of this stuff in and we'll kind of just go from there. I think the first thing I'll do, the thing I like about this too is like it is, it's undated so you can kind of start this whenever you want. So if you like to, you know, do tax year to tax year or whatever it might be, you can kind of pick and choose when you're going to do this. I am not going to be sharing my income, uh, just something I decided to do moving forward with the year, but what I'm going to do is kind of say, you know, I've got paycheck one. Back in the day, I used to have a side hustle, so I was doing that part-time. Um, I'm an official for high school sports here, so I'll put judging in there, and I can kind of anticipate what I'm going to receive that way. So in terms of housing, what I'm going to do is break this up into two categories. One is for rent. I'm in a new apartment, $1,699. I have parking and storage is separate. And the nice part of this place is it's still garage parking, but it comes with a storage unit, which is nice, uh, right behind it, which is a little bit more expensive. For... So the next thing here is gonna be for transportation. This is my car, so I'm doing insurance and then auto gas and oil over here. I guess if there's any big ch variance, I'll kind of s slash it out and rank the actual amount in here. And then, let me zoom in a little bit too. Why not, right? There you go. And then we'll put in here auto gas. But I would normally lump that into, into my personal, but because we've got this here, it's totally fine. And then for gas, I'm anticipating $120. I have a few dance meets that are further out in state, so I might have to kind of do some driving. In terms of utilities, I usually have them lumped together, but I believe it's... I think electric and water are connected. I don't know. I have to look into it a bit more. 
Um, but overall for all of them, I know that in this uh, internet is 80 through CenturyLink. And a little bit there. So there you go. And then in terms of food, I have two categories here, restaurant and groceries. Going out to eat is kind of one of the banes of my existence, and I know that. I feel like this year it's about taking action. I feel like so much of last year, I fundamentally knew what I needed to work on, I just chose not to do it, which is its own problem in and of itself. So this year, I'm really gonna try to kind of actually make strides towards what I wanna achieve. And so restaurants, we'll say, is $120. And then anything else that comes in, I can kind of keep tabs on that for the most part. Some people might do coffee or fast food or something else like that. I decided against it. But so up top at the savings, um, this actually isn't um, something I am putting money away towards. It's automatically taken out of my paycheck. Um, here in Minnesota, we have what's called para. And so I just like to note that it's going in there. And then if I'm putting any money to retirement above and beyond that, that works itself out. This should generally be, I think, probably about $525 a month that it's automatically taken out before I see my check. Um, so it's not part of my income. So yeah, in terms of this 525, and then with the new, um, I wanna make sure that I'm putting the right amount of money away. It would likely be about 550 a month to go into my IRA if I wanna make sure that I get all of it in there. Um, and then any other investments, I haven't been putting a whole heck of a lot in there right now. And this is at M1 Finance. I had a bunch of other stuff and I had cryptocurrency, but I kind of gave up on that after everything that happened. The last thing over here is my sinking fund. This is from last year, so I have to set it, but 341.50 is what I was putting away for sinking funds. But we'll kind of go through that and see. This is my personal one. And so I'm gonna kind of just estimate here and just say subscriptions. But in terms of my subscriptions, I think it's about 150 a month. That's Spotify, that's the extra storage on my phone, that's all sorts of extra stuff. There's things for YouTube on here that I obviously haven't been using, but I realized I was still paying for. <laughs> so I'm hoping that number will go down over time as well. I'll just throw um, under health, we'll do personal spending. And this is stuff like toothpaste, a haircut, all that good jazz. Um, and then the nice part here is I've got all sorts of fun stuff down at the bottom an extra space here, and then if there's anything around debt savings, you can go ahead and do that too. And then total income, I will leave blank for now. Uh, total expenses though, as it's budgeted, is uh, $3,849. Um, and it looks like I should have some money left over to be able to um, kind of put towards my goals and some additional savings, and that would go up in here. So whatever I have left over, I throw into a savings account. Oops, you can't see that. <laughs> throw into a savings account um, and just let it grow over there. Obviously not getting a ton of interest, but hey, that's fine. Things happen, right? So let's zoom out just the scotch, and I'll kind of show you the rest of what I'm gonna do in this planner throughout the month. So we've got everything set up on either side of our budget. Fabulous. Um, and then the nice part about this, which is I'm really excited for, is it says weekly spending, and then it says week of. And you've got a ton of room here, got the dates, and then there's a description, and the category that it corresponds to, and then the total. And so you can kind of keep tabs of spending and where it goes. I was doing this in the olden days on a calendar, and I kind of felt like I was running out of room, so it's nice to have a ton of space to be able to use that if there are some big ticket items that throughout the week. I also think this is gonna be one of those things that um, if I'm on my way to work, I'm gonna make coffee because I'm not gonna wanna have to write a box in that says coffee when I drive in, right? <laughs> so that's gonna be kind of my deterrent to allow me to not use this. So then that's for all the weeks of the month. There should be at least five of these. And then it'll switch right into the next month. And so as you can see, your new color, new set of goals. And I believe after every quarter, there should be a check-in somewhere in between here. Yeah, so there's a few more pages here. So, and then at the end of the month, here, you've got your quarterly check-in. So kind of same questions as earlier. How do I feel? Progress, any pivots or adjustments that I need to make? Goal one, two, and three. Boom, love it. So yeah, that's gonna about wrap up uh, this January budget here in my little budget notebook. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. I know it's been a hot minute since I've put any content out, but hey, this is me giving it my shot this year. Um, I'm gonna do my best to kind of put do a monthly update on how this is working and any other fun budget things. I'm also thinking about doing kind of a year in review of my budget and how to kind of do a debrief on that. So if you'd like to see that, leave me a comment down below. I try to answer them as often as possible. Don't forget to check me out over on Instagram. I'm at a man with the plans. 
Um, other than that, hope you have a great new year and I hope you have some big financial goals that you and I are gonna work together to achieve. So can't wait to hear what you're all doing moving into 2023 and beyond. So talk to you soon. Bye, planner friends.